Hello everybody, Rev and Megas here welcoming you to another episode of Stardew Valley. We're checking out some new maps. So this is going to be an interesting one that gives you basically a waterfall and such to your forest map. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at it and see what we got. Now, as you can see, your house is basically the normal same look that it always has. But when you leave the front door, you'll see you're, well, basically greeted by this beautiful, beautiful vista. And you got this little windmill next to your um, pinwheel, next to your dog's place. You've got kind of more of a contained area for the cave system. I love that. That makes it look so much nicer. You've got like a little cave ravine. You've got... Basically a little bit of extra space above the greenhouse and your grandfather's place is more off to the left. So a lot of the farm area that was covered by trees has been kind of pushed back, moved away, made it look a little bit nicer. Now we've got some steps over here on the left which also sets you up for a nice little vista thing again of waterfalls. Now I especially like the fact that there's a little dock, you got your little boat here. This kind of makes it look more rugged and rustic terrain wise. So I absolutely love that. Now you got your way down to Marnie's, that's always cool. And you've got this little tree line here. And I kind of like that there's a little like secret grotto down here. I think that is amazing. Now this, this one does come in two varieties. One does remove this, uh, little lake and it adds in some more area above the farm that you can actually farm at because overall this is a very small compact map that's been designed so let's go down and let's see our little oasis okay so when you actually do go through it changes over to the spa style where you can go down and take a little dip in your pool really enjoy yourself you know treat yourself right I like this I think this is kind of a cool little take this definitely adds into the aesthetic and lets you really like enjoy the game the way it's you know it's kind of nice to have this on your farm the ability to go down and do a little like uh, swimming and everything it does take a good amount of your farm away though which kind of hurts but overall this is kind of a cute little one now, we're going to do something different that we haven't done with a lot of these mods, and we'll be doing this going forward. So for this mod, I would say that in comparison to the original farm mod that uh, is the forest mod, I would slightly rate this below. So I would give this one, honestly, this mod for this farm, the way it looks, I would give this a 7 out of 10. It's decent, it's got a lot of nice features, but you lose so much farm area that it makes it really hard to justify that loss. All right, now for our second farm, we've got a totally different one. Now this takes your existing, uh, so we're using the standard one. That's the map that I've converted, and it basically converts it into this really, really unusual, volcano themed farm yes you leave your front door and you're basically agree with this very harsh ashy terrain it's got a lot of interesting aesthetics like i don't know if i've seen this anywhere else really in the game it might be in the new from the 1.5 release but the tile set is very interesting you have a walkway to your right, which would lead to the crossroads, all of that, that leads to the bus stop. You've got a lot of kind of area down here. You've got the greenhouse before it converts more into a small little pond. So this would be more of your farming area because of the pond being right there. Now you obviously could use some of the river up above, that kind of stuff, but you get this kind of look down here. So you've got like a little bit of greenery over on this side. And you can loop around. That is Marnie's down there, obviously. We know that. If you've ever played Stardew, you would know that. Kind of got this little, like, 
it doesn't remind me as much of a volcano it reminds me more of an island that just sprouted out from the ground now we've got some random trees hanging out in the water it looks like this should have connected but for some reason it didn't so that's a little bit of a detriment on this map as well it doesn't look like you can actually get across it on the left side a little bit of a bummer now if you're unfamiliar in the actual map oh so this is just aesthetics this isn't an actual being able to walk across it i thought you could yeah, it doesn't seem like you can walk across it. It looks like it's not connected. Well, this one is. Okay. So it looks like that one just isn't connecting right. Let's see what's inside the little cave that we had down here. Now, I've got kind of our little... Um, this is more or less just like a neat underground volcanic place that you could build out like your storage you could build out your machinery you could build out a lot of stuff down here and you kind of got the lava flow going now what's really weird about this map is the fact in the volcano in the actual new island for an island that like uh, lava and everything would actually be moving and have some sort of moving pattern it doesn't seem like that is the case in this mod so we've got some more area that you can traverse. Oh, thankfully I actually can traverse this. Grandpa's uh, grave site. And then up north, we've got some more just, you know, plain old area to do some stuff. Now, similar to the last one, since we're doing this now, how would I rate this? Now this can replace any like farm in your game as long as you set the config file after running it now you got a couple neat things you do have the different cave system that allows for machinery you've got more of the spooky feel to it you definitely have a lot going on in this map that makes it unique compared to some of the other existing ones i mean we haven't had a volcano map we've had beach maps that kind of stuff so how would i rate this map I would be honest, this map is, for me, I could never see myself using this map. It's too segmented. Getting around it is a major pain, and it does not flow very well. There's a lot of just broken up areas that don't make sense. You have a lot of segmentation artificially with these cave cracks. Uh, the tile pattern around here is very heavily repeated with these weird eyes so aesthetically i don't think i like that portion of it very much but like this is like a complete pain to get through and apparently i randomly just move between did i actually just move how did i how did i do that Oh, so there's also some issues going on with that as well. That it's a bug that if you go too far to the le left of that ramp, it looks like you get moved to the crossroads. So, <coughs> overall, this map, I don't think it's very well done, to be honest. There's just too many flaws. There's bugs in it. It would make farming a complete nightmare and chore to do. This is unfortunately a map that I would give a 3 out of 10. It's harsh, but the bugs, the segmentation, just the overall like disconnection of it really, really hurts the flow for me. If you guys have... Oh my gosh, you can't even go down here. That is... Oh no. Well, apparently you can walk around down here. Yeah, so... I think I might revise this down to a 2 out of 10. This is... This is very badly... Oh, boy. This is bad. Oh, boy. Alrighty. But I hope you guys did enjoy these two map reviews. We're going to be doing some more mod reviews coming up for Stardew Valley as well as other games. And if you guys are enjoying the content, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. It helps me out ridiculously so much and it lets me know what you guys are interested in what you want to see 
what you want to talk about, that kind of stuff. So until next time, this is Rev Mega saying, I'll catch you later.